Number 1. The nurse is teaching the client about breast self-examination. Which observation should the client be taught to recognize when doing the examination for detection of breast cancer? A. Tender, movable lump. B. Pain on breast self-examination. C. Round, well-defined lump. D. Dimpling of the breast tissue. Number 2. The mother of the client tells the nurse, I'm not going to have my baby get any immunization. What would be the best nursing response to the mother? A. You and I need to review your rationale for this decision. B. Your baby will not be able to attend day care without immunizations. C. Your decision can be viewed as a form of child abuse and neglect. D. You are needlessly placing other people at risk for communicable diseases. Number 3. The nurse is assigned to care the client with infectious disease. The best antimicrobial agent for the nurse to use in handwashing is, A. Isopropyl alcohol. B. Hexachlorophene, Physohex. C. Soap and water. D. Chlorhexidine gluconate, CHG, Hibiclens. Number 4. The nurse is making a discharge instruction to a client receiving chemotherapy. The client is at risk for bone marrow depression. The nurse gives instructions to the client about how to prevent infection at home. Which of the following health teaching would be included? A. Get a weekly WBC count. B. Do not share a bathroom with children or pregnant woman. C. Avoid contact with others while receiving chemotherapy. D. Do frequent hand washing and maintain good hygiene. Number 5. Which of the following would be the most important goal in the nursing care of an infant client with eczema? A. Preventing infection. B. Maintaining the comfort level. C. Providing for adequate nutrition. D. Decreasing the itching. Number 6. A male client comes to the clinic for checkup. In doing a physical assessment, the nurse should report to the physician the most common symptom of gonorrhea, which is, a, pruritus, b, pus in the urine, c, wbc in the urine, d, dysuria. Number 7. The parents of the hospitalized client ask the nurse how their baby might have gotten pyloric stenosis. The appropriate nursing response would be, A. There is no way to determine this preoperatively. B. Their baby was born with this condition. C. Their baby developed this condition during the first few weeks of life. D. Their baby acquired it due to a formula allergy. Number 8. A two-year-old client is admitted to the hospital with severe eczema lesions on the scalp, face, neck and arms. The client is scratching the affected areas. What would be the best nursing intervention to prevent the client from scratching the affected areas? A. Elbow restraints to the arms. B. Mittens to the hands. C. Clove hitch restraints to the hands. D. A posy jacket to the torso. Number 9. After a birth, the physician cut the cord of the baby, and before the baby is given to the mother, what would be the initial nursing action of the nurse? A. Examine the infant for any observable abnormalities. B. 
B. Confirm identification of the infant and apply bracelet to mother and infant. C. Instill prophylactic medication in the infant's eyes. D. Wrap the infant in a pre-warmed blanket and cover the head. Number 10. A community health nurse is scheduled to do home visit. She visits to an elderly person living alone. Which of the following observation would be a concern? A. Picture windows. B. Unwashed dishes in the sink. C. Clear and shiny floors. D. Brightly lit rooms. Number 11. The nurse is making a health teaching to the parents of the client. In teaching parents how to measure the area of induration in response to a PPD test, the nurse would be most accurate in advising the parents to measure a. Both the areas that look red and feel raised. b. The entire area that feels itchy to the child. c. Only the area that looks reddened. d. Only the area that feels raised. Number 12. A 70 year old client with suspected tuberculosis is brought to the geriatric care facilities. An intradermal tuberculosis test is scheduled to be done. The client asks the nurse what is the purpose of the test. Which of the following would be the best rationale for this? A. Reactivation of an old tuberculosis infection. B. Increased incidence of new cases of tuberculosis in persons over 65 years old. C. Greater exposure to diverse healthcare workers. D. Respiratory problems are characteristic in this population. Number 13. An infant is brought to the emergency department and diagnosed with pyloric stenosis. The parents of the client ask the nurse, why does my baby continue to vomit? Which of the following would be the best nursing response of the nurse? A. Your baby eats too rapidly and overfills the stomach, which causes vomiting. B. Your baby can't empty the formula that is in the stomach into the bowel. C. The vomiting is due to the nausea that accompanies pyloric stenosis. D. Your baby needs to be burped more thoroughly after feeding. Number 14. A client with tuberculosis is admitted in the hospital for two weeks. When a client's family members come to visit, they would be adhering to respiratory isolation precautions when they a. wash their hands when leaving. b. Put on gowns, gloves and masks. c. Avoid contact with the client's roommate. d. Keep the client's room door open. Number 15. A client visits the clinic for screening of scoliosis. The nurse should ask the client to bend all the way over and touch the toes. B. Stand up as straight and tall as possible. C. Bend over at a 90-degree angle from the waist. D. Bend over at a 45-degree angle from the waist. Number 16. The physician instructed the nurse that intravenous pyelogram will be done to the client. The client asks the nurse what is the purpose of the procedure. The appropriate nursing response is to a. Outline the kidney vasculature. b. Determine the size, shape, and placement of the kidneys. c. Test renal tubular function and the patency of the urinary tract. D. Measure renal blood flow.
Number 17. The nurse caring to a client has completed the assessment. Which of the following will be considered to be the most accurate charting of a lump felt in the right breast? A. Abnormally felt area in the right breast, drainage noted. B. Hard nodular mass in right breast nipple. C. Firm mass at 5, clock, outer quadrant, 1 cm from right nipple. D. Mass in the right breast for CMX 1 cm. Number 18. The nurse on the night shift is about to administer medication to a preschooler client and notes that the child has no ID bracelet. The best way for the nurse to identify the client is to ask, A. The adult visiting, the child's name is? B. The child, is your name? C. Another staff nurse to identify this child? D. The other children in the room what the child's name is? Number 19. The night shift nurse is making rounds. When the nurse enters a client's room, the client is on the floor next to the bed. What would be the initial action of the nurse? A. Chart that the patient fell. B. Call the physician. C. Chart that the client was found on the floor next to the bed. D. Fill out an incident report. Number 20. A 80-year-old female client is brought to the emergency department by her caregiver, on the nurse's assessment, the following are the manifestations of the client, anorexia, cachexia and multiple bruises. What would be the best nursing intervention? A. Check the laboratory data for serum albumin, hematocrit, and hemoglobin. B. Talk to the client about the caregiver and support system. C. Complete a police report on elder abuse. D. Complete a gastrointestinal and neurological assessment. <laughs>